Hi guys! How are you? Uh, this is Donna from Donna's Creative Space and this is my first video now that I'm retired. Today was my retiring day, my day of retirement, my last day of work. Maybe I should put it that way. I'm just give me a second. I'm just trying to move things around so that you can see everything. I know this is a weird time for me to go live, but I um, I had to meet my boss at my place of business at 11 because I have to I have a security clearance, so I had to go to security and sign all kinds of disclosures. And then I had to drop off my computer and all that kind of fun stuff. So it took almost an hour. But anyway, um, and by the time I got home, it was kind of late and I was trying to get things ready. And needless to say, here I am. Instead of at noon, it is 2.15. It is July 8th, 2022. And um, I'm going to remember July 8th because it was my last day of work. I've worked for this company well, I started, um, goodness gracious, I started in the summer of 80, 1980. Yes, I am very old. But I started the summer of 1980. I worked a few summers during college. That was um, after my freshman year of college, I think. But anyway, um, so I'm, I'm, needless to say, I've been there for, if you add it up all the time, over 40 years. But according to them, I think I only had 38, the way they count it. Hey, Sue! <laughs> Thank Hey, 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 I'm retired! You're next! You're next! <laughs> How are you, Sue? Good to see you on here. I was just saying how I went to work and had to do all the signing my life away. Not really. Signing off with security and with IT. You... <laughs> Okay, I won't tell anybody <laughs> you're working now. All right. So anyway, yes, I am retired. Do I sound any differently? I wonder. But anyway, today I am going to make a card. And um, I do not know what I'm going to make, but I know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this is the free paper in celebration. It's, it's so pretty. I'm going to I'm going to pull it all out of this package and show you it. And um, it is called Wonderful World. Maybe if, if you don't, you can see that without the glare. But this is the paper. I'm going to use this piece because it's so pretty. Even the back is pretty. Maybe I'll have to use a little piece of that too. So I'll show you. So, it, so it's in the catalog, the Celebration catalog. And it is on page, let's see. Uh, did I go buy it? I must have gone by. Here it is. It's on page 14, and it's called, you get you get two things if you purchase $100. I sound more relaxed. I am so tired, Sue. I have been training people all week, and um, today I, I did not, I was only working five hours today, and then I had to meet my boss at the Andover plant, and um, I... <sighs> I didn't want to work. I didn't want to train today, but I had to because I didn't finish something up with this one guy that I'm training. So I had to do a couple hours of training, and really, I I literally had to say I have to leave. I can't do this anymore. And I hadn't like cleaned off my files and stuff. It just was a nightmare today. So, but anyway, because usually I have plenty. You know, it's plenty of time to do things. But because I'm doing. I was trying to get my work done, plus trying to train people, plus like trying to get all my, any personal files that I might have like, you know, getting any of the stuff I needed to get together for retirement. That was on my machine. I had to get it off there. Oh, so anyway, sorry, I don't need to rant, but I should say, I should, I should show you this, this wine glass that my son gave me today. I don't know if you can see it. It says, I can wine all I want. I'm retired. <laughs> so I'm whining. I'm whining about what a tough day it was. He also gave me some other stuff, but I'm not going to show it right now. But anyway, so this, <laughs> all right, back to stamping up stuff. Enough about me. All right, so this is on page 14 of the new celebration catalog. 
and um, you can see it online it is free with a hundred dollar purchase so what that means is you just shop on with whatever you want and you would get this free with a hundred dollar purchase and what it is 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 it is a pack of designer series paper that's absolutely gorgeous I'll show you the front and back of everything and it's a regular size pack because it's 12 sheets but you also get this um, really pretty stamp set and um, I'm gonna use this one right here like I said I I kind of know what I want to do but I don't know how to I haven't planned the card yet I did just play around with stamping that image and um, I don't know where I put it but I'll find it but anyway um, so I'm gonna use this paper but it's free with a hundred dollar order and I also wanted to let's see I want to tell you before I go further um, let's see let me move this my card class to go my July card class to go it's my um, I'm calling it like a Christmas in July um, kit and it's, it's not my regular holiday card class but it is a kit of four cards that I made using this set and you have to place a $50 order to get it free but it, you, it comes it's eight cards I'm doing my virtual card class which is the second half of the month that's free with a $35 order because you get four cards in that but this one is uh, free with a $50 order but these are also this is a free celebration item that you can get with a hundred dollar order you can get this free the st this tree stamp set is in the new holiday catalog but I like this set I just thought that was so cute and I wanted to do Christmas in July so um, free with use this host code place a $50 order with me if you if you order $75 you get a free embellishment pack but also if you purchase my card class to go for six months not purchase it but you know I mean earn it six months in a row you shop with me six months and earn the card class six months in a row you will get a $25 shopping spree from me all right now these are the cards I'll show you real quick I don't think I've showed these live yet I think I put a picture on my email list but this is the first one this is the second one so you're gonna make you're gonna have um, two of each of these enough supplies to make two of each of these and this is the last one cute right so um, eight cards and I'm doing the die cutting for you but things like um, like the the trees you'd have to stamp and die cut yourself so you you'll want the you want the dies anyway because if you're gonna get a tree set but you can fussy cut it you don't have to like this little tree sign you can it's there's a die for it but you can fussy cut it out and um, this one is just a die I'm giving you that's not part of here that's a different set so this one you don't have to do any die cutting um, this one I die cut out these two little trees you could just stamp them flat though across if you wanted or cut them out yourself and this one I die cut three trees and pasted or adhered two flat and put one up on dimensions I don't know if you can see that but you could if you didn't want to die cut you could just put stamp all three under these um, light poles and maybe not add the dog or squeeze him in somewhere but anyway they can be made without having the dies but I think if you're shopping and your order gets close to a hundred I like these but I do I like to do my yes I yeah I'm, I'm excited for my big class that's later on though but I just wanted to do something in July so I picked these out and I did it with these dies because this is the celebration item that you can get for free like I said with the hundred dollar order so with, if you spent fifty dollars you'd get this card class plus you'd get to choose something out of this catalog anything well this one's a free with a hundred dollar order but there are other things like this paper is free with a fifty dollar order. there's a few things in here free with a fifty dollar order um, so you get the card class plus you can pick out a free celebration but if you bump it up to a hundred then you could get um, the die set to go along because this is free with a hundred dollar order and that's on page let me show you um, hang on a sec oh just went by it that's on page 12 see it's they're called the tree lot dies and there's some samples and mine's similar to this one a little different though but anyway so that is that that's my card class to go this month um, and you have till the 15th so today's the 8th so you have another week to place an order with me and 
What else did I want to tell you? Oh, last week I made this cute hippo. Um, this cute hippo cut these, I should say, because we made two. One with this, we called him a guy, this little guy holding a flower, and they're, they're a fun fold, a very simple fun fold. And I said that I was going to give one away, and I took all the names, took all the names of people I went, I told you you could have from July 1st through, um, through July 4th, so I went online, I think on the 5th in the morning, and I grabbed everybody's name, and I put all these names in a bucket and I pulled out Phyllis Marie. So Phyllis, if you're watching this at some point, you have to um, message me so that I can send you one of these cards. And I said you could choose which one you wanted. So Phyllis Marie, you have earned, you have won one of these cards. Uh, hopefully you're going to watch this at some point today or maybe you'll catch this on YouTube. I know you were watching last week. So um, that's who won the card. And I'll also put a number, a, a, another little treat in your package but I need your mailing address so just don't put it on Facebook don't put it in a comment put it in a message okay Phyllis so you are the winner so I will do the same thing today um, I will um, I'll give you the card that I'm making today um, I think I'm only gonna make one but um, I'm gonna go by the comments so if you're watching you can put um, leave me a message in the comments, say hello, maybe say where you're from, and um, that way your name's gonna go in the drawing. So I will do the same thing. I will give you, today's Friday, so I will give you, I'll, you know what I'll do is, last week it was a holiday, so I am going to um, give you Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Monday morning I'm gonna pull a name from the comments and they will earn this card. Now, I don't even know what it's gonna look like, so maybe you won't wanna earn it, but we'll see. So. I have what I did for picking my colors and you may already know this but on the back on the back of the designer series paper it tells you what coordinates with the colors with the t tells you what coordinates with the paper and this one says daffodil delight flirty flamingo melon mambo mossy meadow orchid oasis maybe you can't read that let me lift it higher see if that's better orchid oasis pear pizzazz rich razzleberry and sahara sand and starry sky so I decided I liked this paper and I figured I would pull out um, Pear Pizzazz, but you could use Old Olive too, even though, even though um, they don't list every single color that would go with the paper, but they list, uh, they give you a list of what they think. So I took that and I took some, a piece of the Orchid Oasis because that was on the back and that is supposed to go with this. At first I thought I was gonna use I pulled out Highland Heather, but then I realized how off it was because it's not even close. But without the blue there, I was looking at this and I thought they were purpley, but not at all. So I'm not going to use Highland Heather. I'm going to try it with the Orchid Oasis because I pulled out, this is a new color, Orchid Oasis. I pulled that out and I pulled out, what I did is I embossed a couple of pieces of basic white with this um, embossing folder. This is the brick and mortar. It is the, a 3D one. So what I have done in the past is I put these labels on them when I knew back a few years ago we, we had this blue plate and this is what we needed for our um, any 3D plate, any 3D embossing folders. But now we have the new machine has number four so you would use number four if you don't have the blue plate. But otherwise, if you don't have number four, it's a blue plate special. I had just put a tag on here, meaning you don't need um, any of the clear plates. You just use your base. You put your paper inside. It's a very, it's a lot thicker, these 3D embossing um, folders. You put your paper inside, and then you just put your, um, either your number four or your blue plate, either one, on top. And that's all that goes through. Put your um, hinge end in first, so when it goes through... Um, the machine. This goes for us. It's just a little safer. You you run the risk it, um, of it um, cracking a little, like it can if you go the wrong way. Uh, what else do I have to do? So I did two of those, and this is like I did. Ha I don't even have um, anything in my head. I'm just. I just figured I'd wing it. So I I did two of these on white. I did one vertical and one one vertical, one horizontal 
for the bricks because I was thinking, right, this in my head, in my head it looks really, oops, I knocked my camera. I hope I didn't bump you too hard. In my head I was thinking that this is so pretty. I want to use a big piece of this, right? But then I thought it would be pretty maybe to have some brick sticking out. Right, like maybe doing something like maybe the brick straight and that at an angle, and then maybe I'll stamp on this. But then I said, well, I really want to pull in some blue, so maybe I need to put in some blue somewhere. So I could either I could I could oh I could leave the pear pizzazz just a little bit right, like, and then do this, so I have more blue. That might be pretty, and then maybe do this. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. So. I'm leaning towards I want blue to show I want the I want all these colors to show because it pulls it out of here but I, what I really want to show you is um, a kind of a, a technique you, you may know it already but you may not so what I'm gonna do is figure out what I need for things so this is um, a torn piece of the orchid oasis but it's big enough that I can cut it down and I have this is pear pizzazz you could use old olive um, I'm gonna, and it is four and a quarter by 11 and it's scored at five and a half. I am going to cut this piece, this Orchid Oasis, down to four by five and a quarter. All right, and, and that's going to go on here. So what, sometimes when I'm just designing, I just put a, I don't know why I turned that upside down. I just put a tiny little piece of adhesive just so that it's not slipping around while I'm while I'm kind of designing things. And this is I I don't always do this top fold like this. I really like cards that fold like this. Um but most of my card kits I do the other way. The um well oh, where's one like like this folds opens this way or opens this way because um they they ship better. If I have to go lengthwise like this, it's hard to fit it in the bags that I happen to have. It would take all kinds of special things. But anyway, um, so I'm going to use that blue. I think I like the vertical brick. And I'm thinking maybe a strip of it. I hate to cut it if I don't know. Because I would like to... Oh! So I just... Oh, a bunch of people just showed up. So I want to... Um, let's see. Is anybody else saying any comments? I don't see any more, but if you don't forget, if you comment, you could earn this card. Just in case Phyllis is watching, Phyllis Marie, you won one of these cards. You can tell me which one you want, and you have to message me your address. All right, so I am going to cut this down. I think I'm going to cut it down to three inches right now and see how I do with that. And I'm going to go down to the, I'm going to cut it down to three three by four and I'm gonna so I'm gonna come down to this four inch mark that's on my ruler and then I can flip it over and line it up at the four inches I hope that four inches is enough maybe do I want longer than four I think I do wait a sec hang on Let's see. Um, yeah maybe I'll do four and a half since I didn't cut it yet this is good so I'm gonna do four and a half I'll just have to recut that spot. Move along. I'll do four and a half down to the three inch mark. And then I'm going to turn it back and just try to cut that little end that I didn't cut. Get my blade in there and just cut. Okay. That's how you use the numbers on here. That's a good way to cut your paper. Hi, Donna. Hi, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I'm so excited. I think after this, I'm probably going to pass out on the couch. Oh, I'm kind of liking this, ladies. So, oh, so what if I do, hmm, what if I do that at an angle and then this one? I don't know now. I'm, now I'm thinking I don't know if I like that. Um, maybe I should cut this the same. I think I'm going to cut this the same. So that was three inches by four, three inches wide by four and a half. 
you're just joining us joining us I am winging it but if you leave a comment I am giving away this card <laughs> maybe nobody will like it when I'm done because I don't know what it's gonna look like but I was thinking I'm just kind of making so that if that went that way and oh maybe this like that that went that way hmm I don't know maybe this is too big but I do want to I want to see plenty of that paper and I could just do like I could do a straight thing like this just show a little bit of the brick but see this doesn't show a lot of the paper so I maybe oh 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 that might be pretty kind of like have them staggered and I did pull out um, some this oh, this is new this is the old olive and Sahara sand ribbon I just thought I don't know but I just thought that this ribbon mm -hmm. uh oh somebody just texted me hi Jill I'm waiting to see if there's any of this um, one two three there's a few people watching and I want to make sure that um, Phyllis Marie oh my goodness Donna I really taped this down good let me have to pull it this way so I thought that might be pretty as a bow right it's a little darker because it's not pear pizzazz it's um what did I say old olive yeah old olive or we could use the, the beige one let's see all right so let's get this done do you guys like it on the pear pizzazz now I'm thinking maybe I should do a maybe I should eliminate the pear pizzazz and just do it on a um hang on maybe we'll do it on a just an old orchid let me let me do I like to do two at once two bases so I'm scoring at five and a half I don't know this won't go to waste card bases never go to waste but let's just see because now I'm thinking do I do I want to do just like this oh what if <laughs> I just thought of something else. what if I put the like that it's off a lot of layers though huh all right let's 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 do our stamp let's do but I do like that but I do want I do want to have maybe the green will help it all right so let's let's stamp I want to show you what I want to do because I was playing around with the stamp and um, I used a technique that I don't know if I've kind of seen somebody use this tool this I use a stamp and blend for it I don't know if I've seen anybody do it like this and I oh I also pulled out celebrating you because I thought maybe I would put um, wishing you a happy ever after we may just wait to see what it looks like when I'm done um, all right so I want to show you what I did for the stamp so this stamp is this big one that comes in where did I put the stamps at right here this is the free wonderful world if you're just tuning in it's the wonderful world stamp set with the um, wonderful world designer paper pack that is free during celebration oh I said I was going to show you the paper and I never did all right this is the one I'm using but look at the back of this how pretty that is maybe I'll have to incorporate that in instead of this instead of this instead of this pair of pizzazz maybe I'll put a piece of this in I think this is my favorite piece out of this whole pack let me turn it the right way so that's the first piece oops this is the second piece this would be nice to cut them out and that oh isn't that pretty I like the back of this one that's pretty right and the next one is this one and this on the back well that's nice and bright that's the daffodil that's very oh look at those are um those purple irises on here that's different and oh this is pretty this looks like it'd be nice for a wedding card or Mother's Day or even sympathy because it looks like it has some white white um, lilies okay this one and this one is this the last piece no second to last oh let me turn the right way oh that's that's very cute little teeny teeny flowers Let's see if you can see those it's a pretty different colors all right one more little these would be real these would be really pretty look I, I have a punch here let me see how big these are because this would be really pretty if you just look at that you could just you have to get to the center of one but look at that 
Um, of course, it's upside down, but look at how nice would that be just on a card, even that one there. You see this, what I'm doing? These are cut off, but those make darling little, really pretty little um, circles on your piece. That's the other side. The other side is this pretty pink with diamonds on it. So that's the paper. That is the free paper from the celebration. And let me put it all back. I may, I'm going to leave this one out because maybe I'll use a piece of the back of it. We'll see. Well, I'll leave it over here. I can always grab it. All right, so I want to show you what I did with this stamp. So I want to have two different colors. So I could use my um, my Orchid Oasis marker and this um, Pear Pizzazz marker. Oh, no, I wanted to use the darker one, the, the old, or, old Olive. I was going to say Old Orchard. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this with, I need a little scrap piece of paper, so I pulled some out. Um, I'm going to use my Stampin' Blend pen, not as a pen, but kind of as a wiper. So you'll see what I mean. Now this is um, photo. This is um, red rubber with the foam, so I really don't have to put anything down underneath. But I'm thinking maybe I should put just a piece of scrap paper. And I, I had some printer paper. I said, oh, I'll just keep it under here that way. Huh, where did it go? Oh, that's... Oh, I wanted to show you. This is, this is, I was playing with it. Here's the piece I was looking for earlier. So I, see how I got the two different colors on one stamp? I will show you how. Um, maybe I'll just use a piece of, um, I just don't want to get any ink on my board. Just taking a piece of regular paper, okay? Maybe it'll be better for you to see too. So I'm going to ink this up but I'm not going to go past the stem here, all right? And I'm just going to ink, the, just try to get the two blossoms covered in ink, right? This Orchid Oasis, all right? Now, I'm going to close this because I don't want to lean in it. Now, this is one of those distinctive sets. It's got tiny, tiny little dots that are going to do the shading for us, which make it really pretty. So, what I want to do is I'm going to use my this stamp and Blend. This is our Blender Pens. I called it a stamp and blend, and I this is blender pens, and usually you use it to blend some colors, right? Like your watercolor pencils. Well, I'm using it to remove the color from the stamp uh, from the leaves. All right, so I'm just wiping it off. Let me see if I should. Um, let me zoom in a little, and I hope I remember to unzoom. All right, so did you see how, and you might have to do it a couple of times, but I'm just getting off, and then you just wipe it off. This has got a solution in here that helps blend the colors. I just wipe it off, and then I'm going to just pick up all that ink and just wipe it again. This is just scrap paper, and I'm just, I just keep doing it a couple of times. And we'll have to huff on this at the end, which is huffing is like giving it a nice hot breath. But see how I took it off? You see that how I'm getting the ink right off of those little leaves? Just like that. And I have tried Q tips to do this kind of thing, and the fuzz gets in the way. And so today I'm sitting here going, hmm, what could I use? And my blender, this uh, bl the blender pen was just sitting in my little um, pencil holder in front of me. And I said, oh my God, I wonder if that'll work. And sure enough, I said, oh my goodness, Donna. Cause I haven't seen this. Oops, I just I just wiped it on my sign. You can even get it off the edge there. So I think I'm just about there. I just want to get as much off as possible. You can get it down to the bare, right down to the red rubber. That's the best because we're going to use the Stampin' Right marker. Look at that. So see that? I don't think I have to go too close because. See how I got it off? I could even, not that that little piece is going to matter, but I could take it out of the center there. So I'm going to let that dry for a second. And to clean your pen, you just go back and forth on a piece of paper, a scrap piece of paper, and until it runs clear, and then you're done. Oh, you know what I was thinking? I know that it doesn't, 
it doesn't really show on these flowers. So this is kind of like the flower we're doing, and it doesn't have any color in the center, but this one does. So I was thinking, I didn't do this, I didn't do it here, but then there's that big blotchy spot. So I thought maybe I'll, maybe I'll take some off of that. Right, and I'm going to use yellow, so I'm going to go a little further and take off that. I don't know how this is going to look. I probably shouldn't have done it such, such like a perfect circle, but maybe when I put the yellow down and I do have to grab my yellow pen. All right, so so that's what I used. I didn't use this to color. I used it to clean off, clean off, and it still looks like there's some on this. So let me just kind of... Am I still in the image area? Let me just get, get as much off as possible. And then just clean it each time. I'm thinking that, I don't know how the yellow is going to look, but I just thought I love, this This Orchid Oasis is kind of like a bluey purple. And I love purple and yellow together. So I just grabbed my, I grabbed my So Saffron and my Daffodil Delight. I want to make sure this one's kind of, ooh. It's a little dry. I might have to use my, um, I don't know. I might have to go in afterwards and put in, I don't want to get blue on this, but let me try my, see how wet this one is. Oh, that one might be better. It's juicier. And I guess it doesn't matter if I get a little bit of that Orchid Oasis in it, because I'll just kind of look. I, I, I really wish I hadn't done... Um, so much in a, in a real circle circle, but you know what I can do? I just thought of something. I'm going to take my Orchid Oasis marker. I like to buy, when I buy the paper and everything, I'm going to kind of go in, oh, you know what, I'm going to do like a couple little dots. I have no idea what this is going to look like, guys. I'm just kind of, I don't want it just that circular look to it. I want it just, I want a little yellow showing. We might have to touch it up. All right, so now I have to put it on here. Oh, no, I don't. I have to I have to put our green on. I almost goofed. We want to put our green on, so I'm using the um, Old Olive. And I didn't put any yellow in this one because it's kind of like the side view. So I'm going to bring that down. I think I'm still, yeah, I'm still zoomed in. You guys can still see this. I'm using the side of the marker. Now, don't use your, don't use your alcohol markers on here. And now your scrap could be used. Yeah, yeah, that could be used for something. You're right. You're right, Jill. So, do I do I sound any different now that I'm retired? <laughs> I think I said that at the beginning. Sue told me. Sue, I think Sue said I sound more relaxed. I think I'm more like harried. I feel like I feel like I might have to open a bottle of wine a little too soon today, a little early. All right, so now I put my marker, and I'm using the side of this, I think I was telling you. Um, and I was saying don't use your alcohol markers because the alcohol will dry out your red rubber over time. So, all right, now I'm going to huff on this. I, I am kind of worried about that center, so we'll see. If we have to, we'll just... Fix it. Oh, I'm going to unzoom, I think. Should I unzoom? Yeah, I'm going to unzoom. I'm going to unzoom or zoom out, I think is the right word to say. All right, so I'm going to huff on this. I, you sound like you? I sound like me? I thought maybe I would sound more like a retired person, nice and calm. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to huff on this. It's just to kind of get my um, the heat, the hot breath on this so that it kind of moistens it a little and then I am going to put this down mm, I did this on scrap paper I haven't tried it on this um, I didn't tell you what I oh I hope this comes out good <gasps> look how pretty isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous what do you think of the center I think it's better than that center I think so but I'm going to go in, what did I use? The um, I think I used the So Saffron. I'm going to go in, oh, wrong end. I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm just going to dab it da, 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 like that. Oh, I like that, guys. I really like that a lot. Now, look, at, look how pretty that is. All right. One thing I wanted to tell you, um, this was cut out with 
This is the scalloped contour dies, and it is the middle die, rectangular scallop die. It is, you, I crack you up, Jill. <laughs> um, this is the middle die, so it's either the, however you want to call it, it's the third largest or the third smallest, but it's the middle one. And it has the stitching. Some of these have, like, dots. Some have cutouts. Look at, mine still has paper inside of it. Um, all right. So, now we have to figure out what we're going to do. But maybe now that we did that, maybe now that we have, like, an image, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking, do I, I kind of want to do something like, ooh, just kind of funky with the back pieces, like at angles. I like doing that every once in a while. What do you think of that? Why don't I make a bow? And we can see what it looks like with a bow. Because I'm thinking maybe a bow would look good, like right on those stems. So I'm going to tie a bow with this old olive. Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh, oh. Oops, I got it. Do, do, do. Come on. All right, I was thinking, oh, but then I, you know, doing that makes me feel like I need some green elsewhere. So let's see, I have, I still haven't find, found my ribbon scissors, guys, and these get all gunky, so, but I cleaned them, so they are working a little better. I do like that ribbon, but I feel like it needs green somewhere else. And I don't know whether it needs um, the pear pizzazz or the old olive. And I'm trying to find my pack of old olive paper. Because I think that, so I have a, like a strip I can use. I think that's too light now that I'm looking at it. Because I feel like I have to add, um, here's a piece of old olive, but that's a big piece. I don't want to... Um, hang on a sec. I have some. I have some scraps here. Oh, that's a pair of pizzazz. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's that's too light. That's the same. Okay. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh my goodness. I have a piece. I have a. I have a piece. This is a card base, right? But I think the darker one does look better. What if I did, um, what do you think of that? If I did, like, look, just look at this top and bottom. Maybe that's a way of put, put, I, I could put the green behind that one, or I could put it behind that. I could frame that and have this come across. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm going to put on some embellishments, Jill. I just, I just want to figure out how to get some green in there. I do too much. Let me. I'm gonna cut this piece. I have enough. I'm gonna cut. Um, first, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut one the same. I'll cut one three and th three and a quarter by four and three quarters because that would be. That would give. Either one of these. A frame. So let's see if I put that like that, that like that, and then that like that, right? That might do it. That's kind of, oh, that's kind of pretty. I don't know. What do you guys think? Or mm -hmm. so keep that in your head. That would add green if you add green embellishment. Yeah, it would. But I don't think I have. I mean, I could color. Those are the metallic ones. I could color um, rhinestones or pearls, the green. I'm trying to think of what we have for green rhinestones. Oh, I want to show you a couple of cards. I was just reaching off to my left. So I got these cards in the mail this week, and I just wanted to show you. This is from my friend Patience. Um, isn't it pretty? This is the Sending Hello, I think it's called, the stamp set. And um, then I got this from my friend Kay. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what she used on this. I don't think it's Stampin' Up. This might be. Maybe it is older Stampin' Up, but it's so pretty. And then this is from Susan. Look at, but can you see this, guys? She she did um, thread work. 
she's actually all right Jennifer hi Jennifer Jen I like like the green you like the green behind the floral I think I do too so she actually did all this work see that it's like um, embroidered is that what you call it when you're doing uh, it's not cross stitch but I think it's embroidery very pretty it's, she kind of wove it into this um, die cut these are all like um, um, cards from my retirement and this is from my friend Marianne that's very pretty it's it's kind of like iridescent this cut out shape so pretty and then this is from my friend Julie Isn't that pretty so I just thought I'd I put these off to the side I wanted to share these because I thought that did I tell you patience yeah I did say patience so those were cards I just got this week and a couple of my came today but I wanted to show you all right so Jen agrees with me on this um, and then the bow I think that would help and then I kind of I think I like the um, because you could I just wanted the I mean we could make it boring see this is kind of boring but it's a one and done you get it done right of course I could put the um, I'm gonna put the scallop up on up on um, dimensionals but I just think that when you just do something as simple as doing things like that it just makes it so much more interesting all right so let's do this let's just make this card and then oh I forgot about this paper I really like that too well this is very pretty paper I'm gonna have to get more of this pack so this I'm gonna frame on the old olive and we use the old didn't you like the way that worked so now hopefully you have um, blender 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 pens right blender pens them confused with our Stampin' Blends. That's different. But I liked using that, so I'm going to use that more often because I try to I try to wipe it off with the wipe off the stem, you know, that whole area with either a Q-tip, but it just never works so good. All right, so this one I'm going to put at, at this. This is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to put it at angles. So this one is going to go this way, right? And this one's going to go this way, because I only want a little bit of the brick to show, just for a little bit of interest. And I'm going to put the other one, that, I'm going to put the stamped image right, whoops, right at, up on dimensionals. Oops, whoop, <laughs> I was spinning it around, I'll put it up on it upside in. All right, so I want some of that brick showing. I just think that's, I know we're covering up a lot of it, but the star here is this paper, right? Okay, I think I like that. Now this is going to go up on dimensionals. I'm going to grab some. Oh my goodness, where are all my dimensionals? Holy cow. Oh, I have to open another pack. I think I have some opened in the other room. But I don't have any handy. All right, I'm going to sheet of these out. I say the other room because my stuff is like everywhere and now that I'm retired <laughs> I love saying that now that I'm retired I have to get off my butt and do some cleaning and organizing so I'm planning on I have my brother is coming up tomorrow just for a few days he wants to come up and see my mother so we'll go visit her at the nursing home both days but um Oh, I do like this. It's a little different. I don't want, I hate that I'm covering, I think I'm going to put it a little more to the right. I want, I want more of this showing. So I'm going to put it off to the right a little bit. So it's really wacky. I want this one straight. Those are at angles. And then the bow can go right there with the glue dot. And then I will have to figure out, get my glue dots. So yeah, so my brother's coming up. And he's only coming up for a couple of days just to visit my mom because he lives um, out of state. And I'm going to put that right there. Hmm, maybe a little lower. I don't want to tear it. Come up without tearing. I want a little lower. Yeah, it doesn't cover our flower. Ooh. You know, we could have put, after we went and did all that work with that yellow... We could have just put some dimensionals, not dimensionals, uh, rhinestones in the middle. I don't have a bunch of, um, oh, I don't have 
everything that I, I don't have all the new stuff near me. And I don't know what we could use. I mean, I could just put regular, oh, where did that come from? I could use regular pearls. Or, um, hang on. I, I think the Orchid Oasis. Oh, oh, I lost some, some came off because the glue dots are there. They must be stuck in my, my drawer. Oh yeah, I see them down there. Um, the, the green, it's not quite the right green. I could color them, but maybe I'll color some pearls. I think I'll do that. I don't like get a, just some regular pearls and I will color them. I will get out my old olive. That's dark. Let's see, old olive. I don't know whether I'll do the lighter. But I'll get my old olive Stampin' Blend. So now we'll switch to this. And maybe this medium size one. Oh, this. Oh, the point of this. I got to get a new one. Hang on. Hang on. You can tell when you really use these. I have to like replace a bunch. This this one's not much better either. But I'm gonna color. I'm gonna color three, and we'll let those dry for a second. I can. What do we want to put on the inside? Oh, I didn't even do. I didn't even do a. Um, I didn't even do an, a sentiment yet. We don't. We don't even have room for a sentiment. Oh, you know what? We'll do a sentiment on the inside. So. What do you think I should do? So I could do a big one on the inside. I could do a happy anniversary. I could do a happy birthday. Hmm. I was thinking I was going to do wishing you a happily ever after. But who's going to win this this week? I wish I could ask you. <laughs> I think I will do... Let's stick with happy birthday. Um, I don't know if I... Oh, that's happy Easter. Oh, so guess what you get to see? You get to see... Yeah, we'll do happy birthday. What was that one? What is the one happy... Or oh, happy anniversary. What do you think? Who's going to win this? And what would you like me to put on the inside? Um, I guess we'll stick with happy birthday. I pulled this one out because it had a few sentiments. And I was thinking I would do the circular one and um, do wishing you a happily ever after and putting the sentiment on the front but I think I don't want to cover up any of that pretty paper so maybe the happy birthday is generic enough for whoever so if you missed at the beginning um, I have decided that I am giving away one of the cards that I make each week and last week I made these two cute hippos and all, I, all you have to do is comment, and then your name's going to go into a drawing. So I took all of last week's from Sunday through Monday. So I, I think on the 5th that morning, I got up and I looked at who, who commented. I showed you the list already. But um, Phyllis Marie's name got drawn. Um, but so Phyllis, you will have to contact me and let me know which, which one of these cards, since we made two, I was giving you your choice. And I will mail it to you. So you'll have to message me your address. Do not put it on... I do not want you to put it in the comments so you can message it to me right here on Facebook or, or um, I don't think you can message privately on YouTube. So you could email me at Donna Singleton 33, that's the number 33, at yahoo.com and send me your, your address and that's what will happen. All right, so I want to show you how I put this, um, my so I'm going to put that down. I'm going to take this upside down and put it on the paper. This part, you don't need the dark paper. And then I'm going to take a... Oh, what just happened to my camera? It just... I looked I looked over at my um, computer screen and it went all green. Um, I'm using this small block and I'm going to press my block down. Right? So it picks up my label. And then I'm going to peel these off. And I just peeled those two corners back so it makes it easier. Then I take my stamp upside down. Make sure, I'm, you know, this one, it's easy to know the shape is the same as my... Let me zoom in a little bit for this. I, have a, I still have that little bit of um, adhesive on the back of that. I tried to slide it. 
all right I think I zoomed in I want to see let it catch up and see where I am on this so I make sure I'm in the image so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm standing up now so my voice might sound louder but I want to go straight down and um, line up the edge of my label with the edge of that this is how I like to put my my labels on and I'm going slow so you can watch but you don't have to go this slow but you just want to line it up and press it and then it's on there usually I take it right off and then put it down and press it back on again I just like to take it off because it um, if you leave it I, I sometimes I have a harder time taking it off if I leave it on right from the beginning so geez did you guys see that green how my screen turned all green a minute ago I thought that was strange all right so we need memento so I think I'll do memento on the inside and um, this is just gonna be a simple little birthday I haven't used the stamp I should have cleaned it first I usually like to um, I'm gonna squish it like this that kind of helps prime it a little bit all right Let's see if I can get this on straight. I'm not using any grid paper. I'm being lazy today. Yeah, pretty good. All right. So, so whoever wins this card, they will get um, a birthday card for somebody. We haven't put the embellishments on, but I, I just wanted that to, to dry a little. You could even color in, since we had our marker out, our, um, I think we'll do that. Where is my? But I'm going to use my. I'm going to use my stamp and write marker. I think I'll do this. And I'm not going to. I'm going to do it before I. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done this. It's very dark. Well, I, I've started. I've. Com I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to keep going. I should have done. Maybe the pear pizzazz would have been better. I wonder if the other side would be better. Stay in the lines. Nah, I like the the paintbrush side. Just have to do the little teeny point, just like I'm using a paintbrush. Sorry, you have to wait a few minutes to get me to till I finish this because I decided. But this way, it kind of matches the front a little. Should I should I stamp a little bit of the flower? I could do it so I just get the orchid oasis color and not have to worry about the ah, that looks good I gotta cut a couple spots I have the white showing I don't want to get too close what do you think it looks it looks black on the computer screen but it's not it's the green I'll hold it up in a sec see it's green it's old olive I think that looks good, but do you think I should put a little bit of flour? I don't want to. I don't want to have to mess with the. Um... Oh, I know what we could do. Maybe I'll just do this tiny little leaf, and I won't even put the label on it since you guys are watching. I'll just. I'll just do a little leaf in the corner. Let me wash it. I have my scrubber off to the side. All right. Yeah, now I, now I have to get my old olive. Old olive ink. Oh, and it's not in my, oh, there it is. My old one. Ah. Let's see how this is gonna look first. I haven't even used the stamp. Oh, I just got it all over the place too. Hang on. Don't, didn't. So it didn't turn green on your end? Oh my goodness, it was like it was like a bright green. I looked at my computer and my video was like this bright green. I think my old olive just got inked up, so I'm, I've got to make sure I'm... All right, so I'm going to put... That's kind of cute. Put it in... Um, maybe I'll just do opposite corners. Oops. <laughs> opposite corners. I almost did the wrong one. Yeah, that's cute. All right. Boy, is my pad juicy, though. All right, so let me clean that. Let me put it off to the side. Okay, so now we have our inside. Uh-oh, what's underneath? Oh, it's the bow. 
it's our bow sticking up. I still have to put our pearls on. Let me make sure I'm doing it the right way. Yeah, I like it that we made a birthday card. So I hope whoever earns this has a birthday coming up. Okay, take your pick tool. Where are you? Oh, you are right where you're supposed to be. All right, so I'm going to pick up these. Hmm. I think I'll just kind of put them down lightly. Oh, maybe I should have used a tinier one there. Uh-oh. I think I'll put one here. And I think I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to make one of these little teeny ones. Oops. Oh, come on. Stay in place so I can color you. Oh, I picked up the wrong marker. This is the one. Look at that. <laughs> Do you think I need a new one? Hang on. I thought this one was the bad one. This one's bad too. All right. We know what's up. Oh. All right. That pearl decided to leave. We know what's going on my next order. <laughs> Old olive. Old olive. Uh-oh. What happened on my screen? Up. Okay, so I was, I'm going to use one of these down here, I think, right here maybe. But I thought the little one, is it dry yet? It would go better here. Yeah, I think that's better there. Okay, I think we are done. What do you guys think? What do you think? I think I like it. I think I do. It's a little different. I feel like we need more pearls, but I think that, that I, what do you think? I like it. I like it. I think that I might have wanted to put like some sort of dot pattern in the background to get rid of that. I, I don't like a lot of blank space sometimes. I do like that I stuck in that little bit of um, brick and mortar embossing. It just gives it a little bit of something. And we could. Take some Wink of Stella and put it on the center of this flower. I don't think I want to do it on everything, but just the center of that flower. And it kind of makes the yellow a little bit brighter. Notice that? Maybe, let me um, bring it up close. You see the Wink of Stella? Thank you, Donna. So that is our card for today. So I will reiterate if you... Um, are watching and you want to leave a comment I know a lot of you have been commenting so that's great your name will go in the drawing if you are shopping with me and you spend fifty dollars or more you can get not only do you get to choose something from the um, the celebration catalog when you spend fifty dollars or more you get to choose a free item out of here but you're also going to get my my new card class to go this is my July card class to go It is my Christmas in July Trees for Sale card class to go. You will get a kit to make um, eight cards, two of each of these. Get the supplies to make them. Um, you will have to, if you don't buy the, if you don't earn the dies for free, so this is free with a $100 order. That's a celebration item. This is in the new mini catalog. I believe it's like $22. Um, but if you don't have the dies, you will just have to fussy cut out I'm going to, like, I'll cut out, I'll give you a little die cut, this little, isn't that cute little star? I'm going to die cut that, you'll get the circle, you'll get the dies, but I can't, um, and I'm even going to emboss this piece of wood, well, it's a piece of paper to look like wood, but you will have to stamp your images first, and then either fussy cut them or use your dies, but I will supply, I'm even going to cut these little bows, because I have the dies, so I'll cut them for you, okay? And you need some sort of embossing not embossing, um, yeah, we, we um, scoring tool, because these lines are scored. So that is it, folks. That is using this host code for July through the 15th, July 1st through the 15th. So there's another week left on this. And orders of $75 or more get a free embellishment pack. And um, once you're in my, have done six in a row, you will get six card class to go. The, I'm not doing it with the virtual card class. This is just a special for the those orders that are more than $50. Trying to give you something a little bit more than the 
the class that you only spend $35 or more. Um, and that's that. If you spend $150, you are the host, so you can collect host rewards. I will still give you the card kit and the embellishment pack, okay? So I guess that's it. So I will draw for um, this card. I will draw a name, and I will announce it next time I am here online. Okay, so don't forget Phyllis Marie. You get to choose one of these cards and um, message me or email me your address. Okay, bye guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I am going to have a nice glass of wine to celebrate my retirement today. And um, that's that. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. That's helping my channel out by subscribing, by commenting, and by liking my things, both here and both here on Facebook and on YouTube. Okay, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.